Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a hexic equation. We have z to the 6th power plus z to the 3rd power plus 1 equals 0. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. If you ever come up with a third method please let me know in the comment section down below. So for my first method since I do have the 6th and the 3rd power, this is kind of like a bi-cubic, right? You know, bi-quadratic. This is bi-cubic. We can basically replace z cubed with w. And then from here, z to the 6th just becomes w squared. And we're able to turn this into a quadratic equation, which is nice, right? So w squared plus w plus 1 equals 0. Now, you hopefully recognize this equation because it's very special. This equation actually gives you the cube root of 1, but not 1. Okay, just cube root, the complex cube roots of 1 besides 1. Okay, and how can you show that? You multiply both sides by w minus 1. Of course, assume that w does not equal 1 because that does not satisfy the original equation. This one isn't satisfied by w equals 1. But when we introduce it, we get difference of two cubes. And yes, you do get cube roots of one, right? Great. So what are those? If you think about it, there are three cube roots, but we're going to exclude one here because that's not a solution for sure, right? So the other ones are basically going to be e to the power 2 pi i over 3. If you remember Euler's formula, in compact form, if we can actually write these numbers uh, using polar form. This is one of them. And the other one is just going to be e to the power 4 pi i over 3. So the arguments are 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. If you add another 2 pi over 3, you're going to hit 6 pi over 3, which is the same as 2 pi or 0, which is going to give you e to the power 0 or 1. We don't want that, so these are good. There are two cube roots of 1 we are interested in, and these are the values. Since we know what w is, can't we find z from there because z cubed is equal to w so they're related right so go ahead and use this relationship but always remember if you set something equal to z cubed then you're going to find cube roots but there are three cube roots of a complex number and to find them here's a shortcut sort of first of all cut the angle uh, angle in thirds first it's going to be the first one so divide um, by three that's going to give you two pi i over nine and then every time you're going to add 2 pi over 3 because the cube roots are basically equally spaced. So they are 2 pi over 3 radians apart. Make sense? Okay, that's how they are. So we're going to add, uh, to find the other values, we're just going to add 2 pi over 3 or 6 pi over 9. That's going to give you e to the power 8 pi i over 9. And if you add another 6 pi over 9, you're going to get e to the power 14 pi i over 9. If you like degrees better, pi over 9 is 20 degrees. So this this one is going to be 40 degrees. This one is going to be 4 times that, 160, so on and so forth. So you can find them in degrees too, but radians are usually better. But this is just one of the cube roots that we used. Let's go ahead and use the other one and see what we get from there. So we could also set z cubed equal to e to the power 4 pi i over 3. And from here, we're going to follow the same process, e to the power 4 pi i over 9. Or we can add 6 to just 4. That's going to give us 10 pi i over 9 as a shortcut. And one more 6, that's going to give us 16 pi i over 9. Notice that 16, over, 16 pi over 9 is still less than 2 pi because 18 pi over 9 is 2 pi. Make sense? So that's how we know we're stable within boundaries. So we got six solutions, and is that normal? Yes, because this is six degree, and you're supposed to get six complex solutions. So they should all be good, right? All right, so that's pretty much the first method. All righty, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. The second method is actually really nice. It's kind of like a more general approach that you could kind of use with different equations if that works. So second method uses a really nice identity and that's called difference of two cubes. Well, didn't we already use it? Yes, for cube roots of one, 
we did. But we're, we're going to raise the bar here a little bit, okay? So I'm going to multiply this expression, z to the 6 plus z cubed plus 1, by, I'm going to multiply that by, z cubed minus 1. What do you think we're going to get from here? Let's go ahead and distribute it if you don't know what it is. We're going to get z to the ninth minus z to the 6 plus z to the ninth minus z to the 3 plus z to the 3 minus 1. These are all going to cancel out. Oops, I wrote them as 7. There are z's, and we're going to end up with z to the ninth minus 1. Yes, that's what we get because, again, this is difference of two cubes, kind of like a squared plus a plus 1 multiplied by a minus 1. And that gives you, again, a cubed minus 1. Make sense? Great. Let's go ahead and proceed with the denominator. Since we multiply this by z cubed minus 1, we also have to divide by that. So let's go ahead and simplify this. So our expression, which was equal to 0, now becomes z to the ninth minus 1 divided by z to the third minus 1. Now, here's the thing. On the flip side, if you were given this, you could do polynomial division or factoring to get the 6 degree equation. But for our purposes, this is better. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to set this equal to 0, just like before, because that's what it is. But now, this time, focus on this equation, kind of like a rational equation. What does this mean, right? Think about it for a minute. This means that z to the ninth minus 1 equals 0, and at the same time, z cubed minus 1 does not equal 0. Isn't that amazing? So we kind of have two conditions. One of them says what z is, the other one says z, what z is not. So if you simplify or just isolate z to the ninth, you get z to the ninth equals 1, and z cubed does not equal 1. In other words, we are looking for ninth roots of unity, which is 1, that are not cube roots of unity. Make sense? So let's go ahead and do this. Let's list all roots of unity, all ninth roots, there are nine of them, and then exclude the ones that are not good or the ones that are bad. Okay, here's how it goes. How do you find ninth roots of unity? Remember, the roots of unity are basically found by e to the power 2 pi n i, and then you basically just divide it by k, because e to the power 2 pi n i is 1, and then dividing by k, you basically get whatever root you're looking for. And then you just keep adding uh, whatever you need to increment by. So let's go ahead and find the first one. And for the next ones, I'm going to tell you what to do. Easy. The first one is going to be e to the power 2 pi i divided by 9. Since I'm finding ninth roots, I want to divide 2 pi i by 9. So this is going to be the first one. And then uh, to find the increment, think about how the ninth roots are split up. They're basically equally spaced, so you're going to have to separate them by, I don't know if that was 9, but think about it, it's going to be uh, separated by 2 pi over 9 radians. So you're supposed to add 2 pi over 9 every time. So this next one is going to be e to the power 4 pi over 9, and they're going to get e to the power 6 pi over 9. In other words, pi i over 9 and with an even number as a coefficient, e to the 8 pi i over 9 and then e to the 10 pi i over 9, and there's more, e to the power 12 pi i over 9, e to the power 14 pi i over 9, and e to the power 16 pi i over 9. If you write e to the power 18 pi i over 9, guess what that gives you? That gives you 2 pi, and that is actually 1, and definitely you don't want that, right? Because if it's 1, then its cube is also going to be 1, and that's not going to work. You don't want that. Obviously, that doesn't satisfy the original equation anyways. So let's go ahead and cross out the bad ones. This is definitely a bad one. And notice that 12 over 9 can be simplified. You can divide by 3, and you get 4 pi over 3. Didn't we get that before? That's definitely not going to work, because if you cube this number, it's 1. So this is one of the cube roots of 1. The other one, can you find it? The other one is actually going to be 6 pi over 9 because that simplifies as 2 pi i over 3. So exclude those. Everything left is going to be a solution. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.